everyone so please go on mute so listen the class whatever i'm i'm saying and uh, whenever i can give the time uh, just uh, ask me the doubts then i can go into clarify in between please don't disturb to others okay please please uh, uh, please be an a responsible person and this is my personal request everyone everyone so today today classes i want to explain how to open the sap system like uh, what is the basic settings in the sap for example in the ms office we are seeing especially in the word excel we are seeing some bold uh, italic some colors some uh, see different different formats we are going to see in the uh, excel wo ms word and all same way here also in the sap also we can see different different type of uh, themes you know different different type type of theme and uh, i mean colors size increase decrease how to open the sap which screen working whom and what we need to understand and before going to open the sap before going to open the sap i will ask one question everyone just two minutes of revision everyone two minutes of revision the my question is everyone listen carefully i only give the answer listen carefully my question is how many types of projects in sap how many types of projects in sap and example everyone <clears throat> the regarding to the projects regarding to the project what is meant by project and all for example we have four types of projects implementation project supporting project and rollout project enhancement project and uh, regarding to these projects i will give you in depth information on workshop on the project class on the project class i can give you in depth information but today i can give you some overview why because now i want to start the sap system that is the reason i can give you some overview okay so how look like send on now my question is now my question is how many types of how many types of projects in sap projects in sap everyone majorly majorly we have four types of projects so if you join in any company you want to work in this four types of projects maybe you want to work implementation project maybe you want to work supporting project maybe you want to work rollout project or maybe you want to work enhancement project so some brief information brief information what is meant by implementation project what is meant by implementation project then what is meant by supporting project supporting project then what is meant by rollout project what is meant by rollout project and uh, what is meant by enhancement project what is meant by enhancement project anyway we will discuss in depth information on project class at least you people want to understand some overview what is meant by this and all before going to open the sap system open the sap system <clears throat> everyone the first one first one first one is called implementation project first one is called implementation project what is meant by implementation project example 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 everyone i am who i am example i am punnam venkat example i am telling example i am telling example i am working in wipro example i am working in wipro and uh, my client who is my client example a uh, pm group of company pm group of company so what is meant by wipro wipro is the consulting company wipro is the consulting company so what is meant by pm group of company pm group of companies client client means maybe they are manufacturing company maybe they are trading company maybe they are service oriented company that type of companies 
everyone concentrated everyone this pm group of company this pm group of company before sap implementation now example example now they are using many softwares example example for accounts department for example accounts department using in tally accounts department using in tally and uh, example hr department let it be hr department using in timesheet tool timesheet tools example they are using in timesheet tools then uh, marketing department example marketing department using in jv tools jv tools and uh, this they are using in jv tools and uh, sales department sales department using in sales force sales force they are using in sales force and other departments other departments also using in other software so what you people want to understand here this is before sap implementation i am telling what you people want to understand here if you want accounts related information you want to go tally software if you want hr related information you want to go timesheet tool if you want market marketing related information you want to go jv tool software then if you want sales department information you want to go salesforce software it means all the information not available in one place all the information not available in one place the information is going to split it. different different softwares available in different different in information different different softwares available in different different uh, uh, information now the client is thinking this jm group of company ceos directors is thinking why we need to use this many softwares like tally accounts department timesheet hr department marketing department sales department for every department why we need to use this many softwares why don't only one software for all business requirements accounts prospective hr prospective marketing prospective sales department prospective why don't only one software for all business requirements they are thinking the management will going to think then they will think and they will take the decision the finally the solution is the hero is coming the solution is sap sap what is the mean by sap what is the full form of sap sap full form is system application products for data process if you use sap all the information available in one place every information sap introduced different different type of modules if you enter username and password in the sap then you can go you will get all type of reports accounts hr marketing sales uh, securities pp everything so what is mean by implementation implementation means we need to move the data we need to move the data non sap system to sap system we need to move the data non sap system to sap system everyone concentrate here everyone in the sap terminology concentrate here everyone very important point concentrate in the sap terminology non sap systems other than sap system example tally timesheet oracle bond anything any other systems we are called as a legacy system legacy system legacy system means other than sap software other than sap system system means software 
So SAP software and legacy system. SAP system and legacy system. Legacy system means all other than SAP systems. We are called as a legacy systems. So what you people want to understand? We need to move the data legacy system to SAP system. What is meant by legacy system? Legacy system means other than SAP system, any other softwares or except SAP system, other than SAP software, we are called as a legacy systems. Okay, that one. So what you people want to understand here means we need to move the data. We need to move the data legacy system to SAP system. Other than SAP, I mean non-SAP system to SAP system. Non-SAP system to SAP system is called implementation project. Implementation project. Implementation project. This is called implementation project. This is called implementation project. Everyone, what you people want to understand, what you people want to understand, before implementation, before implementation, all the accountants will post the accounting entries in tally. Vendor invoice, customer invoice, vendor, I mean, cust I mean what all the vendor payment, customer payment, GL payments, everything. Before SAP implementation, all the accountants will post the accounting entries in tally. They will generate the reports in tally. After SAP implementation, after SAP implementation, what they will do? Uh, all the accounting entries, all the reports they will using in the tally, all the accounting entries they want to post into the SAP before they want to post in the tally, after they want to post in the SAP. Accounting entry posting, report generation, everything they want to use in the SAP before legacy system, after SAP system. Why? Because we are moving all the data into SAP system. After implementation, they want to use the SAP. All the end users, accountants, everyone, marketing people, sales people, everyone want to use the SAP. As a finance prospective, accounts department want before tally they can use, after SAP they want to use. End user, nothing but accountant. That's it. Okay, note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Please note it on one note. <clears throat> Just one note for brief note. In depthly, we will discuss on the project class. Okay, in depthly, we will discuss on the project class. Note it down. SAP implementation project means. SAP implementation project means note it down clearly, everyone. SAP implementation project means we need to move the data. legacy system to sap system we need to move the data legacy system to sap system is called implementation project Next line, note it down. Next line, note it down. Next line, note it down. Legacy system means, legacy system means, other than SAP system, legacy system means, other than SAP system. other than SAP system.
एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल टैली टैली सेल्स फोर्स सेल्स फोर्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डायनेमिक्स डॉट 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 एक्सेट्रा सो दो ऑल और दी लाइक यू नो लेगेसी सिस्टम्स ओके डॉट डॉट एक्सेट्रा Next line noted on implementation project duration. Implementation project duration is one year to two years. If it is small company, it will take one year. If it's a big company, it will take two years. One to two years. One to two years. One to two years. okay so this is just for the note everyone for your understanding purpose so in depthly we will discuss on the project class okay not required now just note and now can anyone please read the note remaining people please check it out who can read i'll read venkat yeah venkat go ahead venkat teaching venkat giving the notes venkat reading the Venkat. notes venkat <laughs> Right. Uh, the SAP implementation project means we need to move the data from legacy system to SAP system. It's called implementation project. Legacy system means other than SAP system. Examples: Tally, Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, etc. Implementation project's duration is one to two years. One to two years. Everyone, now, <clears throat> everyone, concentrate here now. now you people want to understand what is mean very good right now you people want to understand what is mean by supporting project what is mean by supporting project what is mean by supporting project guys in depthly we will discuss later everyone how to implement each and every point we will discuss later on the project class before going to open sap system this is just like a some overview okay this is just like a some overview okay the next one everyone concentrate here everyone what is meant by supporting project what is meant by supporting project what is meant by supporting project everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here before as a accounts prospective you understood example we are the finance people right so simply you need to understand accounts prospective everyone what happened what happened actually before sap implementation before sap implementation all the accountants all the accountants they can post the accounting entries they will generate the reports they can post the accounting entries and they will generate the reports on the tally before sap implementation after implementation what happened all the accounting entries all the reports they will use for the sap so they don't use tally after sap implementation all the accountants they are try to use on the uh, you know sap now supporting project means what supporting project means what just everyone just one word definition for your understanding purpose just for your understanding purpose supporting project means post implementation support sir what is mean by that <laughs> post implementation support means everyone concentrate here after implementation what the accountant will do all the accountants uh, they will post the accounting entries in sap all the accountants they will generate the reports in sap post implementation support means whenever accountant will freeze their work in the sap 
you want to increase. For example, accountant unable to post the accounting entry, then consultant want to involve, then they need to check the error. You want to rectify the error. Why they are not able to post the accounting entry? What is the issue? So you need to resolve the error. Example, accountant is unable to generate the reports. One error is coming. Now consultant will involve, resolve that error. Then they need to generate the reports. It means wherever end user will going to freeze their job, accounting entry posting and report generation. So consultant will involve then they will make as a unfreeze for your simple terminology i am using freeze and unfreeze it means wherever end user will face the issue the consultant will involve and resolve that issue issue means not a personal issues issue means sap issues accounting entry posting issues report generation issues like that Okay, that is called supporting project. Supporting project means post implementation support to the end users, to the client. The duration is two years to 20 years. Note it down everyone, note it down. Note it down my dear students. Supporting project means, supporting project means, post implementation project, post implementation project. Post to implementation project. Simple word everyone, just one word definition. Not required more than that. More in depth in depth discussion we will uh, in depth discussion we will discuss on the project class not required now <clears throat> so in depth discussion we will discuss uh, uh, later everyone so noted everyone a supporting project means post implementation support duration is called uh, 2 to 20 years Two years to 20 years, two to 20 years, supporting project duration. Done everyone, noted? Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. Everyone. So, uh, sir, uh, you people want to raise one question. Sir, what type of errors they, they face? How the consultant will resolve the errors? Don't worry, my dear friends. It will come. It will come. I will explain you what type of errors they will face. How the consultant will going to resolve. It will come. Don't worry. Okay? Yeah. On the supporting project, we will deeply discuss what is the resolving process, whom to contact, which type of tools we need to use. Everything we will discuss. Don't worry about that. First definition, you can understand what is meant by that. Okay. <clears throat> the next one is called, next one is called rollout project. Anyone, any doubts before going to rollout? Anyone? Now time to ask the doubts. One, no doubts, huh? <clears throat> let it be. So if you do not have any doubts, then let's go to rollout project. Let's go to rollout project. So everyone, concentrate everyone. Roll out. Can anyone define that? Leave the SAP, leave the SAP. Can anyone define that? What is the meaning of roll out? Roll plus out? Roll out, Boleto? Please unmute and speak, anyone? 
extending the limit extending the limit good very good any others roll out roll plus out no no i will tell you everyone extending the limits is a good answer i will tell you i will tell you everyone example example i am who i am example now i am not a punam venkat example now i am a pm group of company pm group of company pm gc what is meant by this pm group of company everyone try to understand what is meant by roll out project what is meant by pm gc pm gc means pm group of company where this company located this company located in us this company located in us okay this company located in us so in the us this company using in sap in the us this company using in sap everyone catch the point here everyone catch the point here the company name is called pm group of company where this company located this company located in us so in the us this people using in sap this people using in sap so due to some xyz reason due to some xyz reason they can elaborate or uh, what we called uh, they can extend their business they can extend their business they can improve their business one country to another country example they can extend their business us to india also they can extend the business us to india us to india for example everyone concentrate everyone in the us in the us they are using in sap so they are extend their business us to india in the india which software they want to use obviously they want to use in sap only obviously they want to use sap only so this sap automatically going to extend us to india automatically going to extend us to india but there is a one problem but there is a one problem what is the problem the problem is us currency is different us currency is different indian currency is different us taxation us tax is different indian tax is different us legal rules is different indian legal rules is different so directly they are unable to extend so in case everyone in case this pm group of company want to use the sap in india so what they want to do first consultant will go and uh, roll out the project means here they will set up indian currencies indian taxation and indian legal rules and the updates so they can they can like they will do some settings indian prospective indian taxation rules indian legal rules then indian currencies they will set up in the indian things after then they can use sap system in india also everyone i will give you one example everyone i will give you one example last time we worked on project actually a uh, lot of people know all the telugu people knows kia motors everyone knows kia motors can anyone unmute and speak kia motor belongs to which country korea korean country actually kia motors belongs to korean country okay korean country but these kia motors they are extended their business korea to india in the anantapur they started one new plant maybe 5 years back i am believe 5 years back or 6 years back then korea they are using in sap 
Korea, they are using in SA. So this Kia Motors, they are extended their business uh, Korea to India. Korea to India. In Anantapur, Andhra Pradesh, Anantapur, they started. So what happened here? This SAP, SAP, in Korea, they are using an SAP. In Korea, they are using an SAP. So in India also, in India also, they want to use the SAP. In case, if they want to use the SAP, even in India also, before using, what consultant want to do? Consultant want to set up Indian currencies, Indian taxation, Indian legal rules, Indian process they want to set up. Then only they can use the SAP even India also. Even India also. Last time we did that. Okay, so this is the process, means roll out the project, extend the business, roll out the SAP, one country to another country, even one state to another state, sometimes, roll out the business. So how much duration is required? How much duration is required? Minimum duration is called, duration minimum six months to six to eight months. Six to eight months is required. Consultant, consultant team want to work six to eight months on the rollout project. Okay. Uh, understood everyone? Anyone, any doubts? Note it on note. In depthly, we will discuss later. Note it on note. Rollout project means Note it down, note. Note it down. Rollout project means, rollout project means, Rollout project means we need to extend the business we need to extend the business one country to another country one country to another country Here, consultant team, here, consultant team implement, implement specific country taxation, specific country taxation and legal rules and currency settings and currency settings, dot, 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 etc. Dot, dot, etc. Duration of rollout project, duration of rollout project is six to eight months. Six to eight months.
six to eight months. Uh, can anyone read the note? Uh, remaining people, please check it out. Anyone? Yes, sir. Can I? Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. Oh, yes. project means we need to extend the business from one country to another country. Here, consultant team implement specific country taxation and currency settings, etc. Duration of the rollout project is six months to eight months. Six months to eight months. Uh, example noted down. Better example noted down. Kia Motors. Kia Motors extended their business Korea to India. In the bracket Anantapur, they started in Anantapur. Korea to India. In Korea, they are already using in the SAP. Note it on clearly, everyone, for understanding purpose. In Korea, they are already using in the SAP. In case if they want to use the SAP in India, in case if they want to SAP in India, In India, they want to set up Indian taxation, Indian currencies, Indian legal rules, Indian legal rules, dot, 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 etc. Indian legal rules, dot, dot, etc. Data, etc. Okay. Everyone, let it be. Now, finally, finally, you people who want to understand. Finally, people want to understand what is meant by enhancement project. What is meant by enhancement project? Just, uh, just, just like an overview, everyone. Just like an overview. In depth, we will discuss on the project class. Not required now. Enhancement project. Everyone, example, everyone. Enhancement project means lower version to higher version. Enhancement project means uh, every every two years or every three years, the client want to update their version. Client want to update their versions, lower version to higher version. Example, uh, ECC 6.02, ECC like, you know, EHP 6 to EHP 7. ECC 4.22, I mean ECC 6.0, like that. Okay, so they need to ex. I mean, they need to migrate their version one version to another version. Example ECC to S for HANA that is also we are called like that. Okay. Enhancement project or migration project. Sometimes we are called as a migration project also. Note it down, everyone. Note it down. Enhancement project means. Enhancement project means enhancement project means the consultant team, consultant team update the version, lower version to higher version. Update the version, lower version to higher version.
lower version to higher version. Example, example, ECC 4.2, ECC 4.2 to ECC 6.0. Example, okay. ECC 4.2 to ECC 6.0. Lower version to higher version. I will I will explain you. I will show you how they will, what is the process and all. I will explain you later. Not required now. Okay, duration note it down. Duration, it's also six months to eight months, everyone. Not required more than that. Duration also six to eight months. Everyone, uh, this is the uh, overview of projects, everyone. Implementation project, a supporting project, and uh, you know, uh, rollout project, and uh, enhancement project, nothing but migration project and all. Basically, in the market, in the market, we have one more project. The project name is called testing project. Basically, this testing project is part of implementation. Testing project is in the part of implementation. Okay. So even I will explain you how the testing project will happen and all. Okay. So testing during the implementation, the consultant will do some testings. Okay. Uh, unit testing, user acceptancy testing. What is mean by testing? How they will do the testing? What is the process of testing? Which tools, which tools they will use for the testings? Everything will come everyone on the project class. This is just like an overview before going to start the open SAP system. This is just like an overview. So everyone, today, today everyone must arrange your SAP server access. So tomorrow, on, I mean, today onwards, you need to open the SAP. So which server access we need to arrange now? Now, not required as per HANA. Post we are we can learn ECC, then later we will update our skill ECC to S4 HANA. Now you people arrange SAP ECC 6.0, 6.0, EHP, EHP 6 or 7. You can take anyone, both are same actually. There is no any changes, 6 or 7. You can take this version, everyone. This version you can take. So you can uh, maybe my uh, my suggestion is you can take server access from Lakshmi Ma'am. Okay. No, sir. I can take uh, other uh, institutes. No problem. You can take anywhere. But you can take this version. Okay. You can take anywhere. That is not a matter. But Lakshmi Ma'am is supporting to uh, our team. So in case of any problems, we will work on it. In case server related issues. Okay, so today you can arrange this version, everyone, SAP, ECC 6.0, EHP 6 or 7, you can take any one. Now we need to learn this later, we want to learn S4 HANA also, I will tell you when you want to take that one. Okay, and everyone, <clears throat> now, now my target is, even uh, like uh, wherever you take the SAP server access now, so that people also will explain how to open the SAP. That people also will explain how to open the SAP for my satisfaction purpose. For my satisfaction purpose, I will explain you how to open the SAP, okay? <clears throat> Everybody knows, but uh, maximum people know who are already working in the end user, but who does not working any experience, so you are wherever you take server access now, that people also can explain how to open the SAP. For my satisfaction purpose, I will also explain. 
very simple everyone so this is called this is called server related things the basis consultant will explain everyone okay for my satisfaction i will going to explain this is called sap logon pad what is this this is called sap logon pad so simply you just double click on sap logon pad and uh, here click on here logon then enter username and password everyone concentrate here, everyone concentrate here everyone are able to see my sap screen everyone yes sir yes everyone concentrate here, everyone this is called sap easy access screen this is called sap easy access screen or some people is called this is called sap home screen home home screen some people call as a this is called sap easy access screen as the name as a sap easy access screen but some export some exports call this is called sap home screen everyone concentrate here concentrate here everyone the first one first one this one is called menu bar what is this this one is called menu bar and this one is called toolbar tools toolbar and this one is called command box this is called command box and this is called ribbon bar ribbon bar and this is called sap menu and this white white one this one this one is called status bar this is called status bar the last one is called standard bar obviously everybody knows this i'm repeating once again everyone my, my satisfaction listen careful my dear students listen careful so uh, you just double click on sap logon so how to install how to log on how to add the credentials so your basis consultant will explain okay wherever you take the server access now they will explain today only you can arrange everyone okay today only you can arrange tomorrow onwards everyone must want to do the practice okay and uh, click on your sap logon everybody know uh, lakshmi ma'am number have or not have everyone yes no okay Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So everyone, I'm repeating. So you just click on your SAP logon and uh, click on your logon. Then enter username and password. And everyone, now here, now here actually, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. I am repeating once again. Listen careful. Hare Krishna. So the first one, first one is called menu bar. First one is called menu bar. This one is called toolbar. Tools. This one is called toolbar. And uh, this one is called uh, command box. This is called command box. And uh, this one is called uh, SAP Easy Access. I mean. This one is called name, name of the screen. And this one is called a ribbon bar, ribbon bar. And SAP menu, status bar and stand bar. I'm repeating once again, maybe menu bar, tool bar, so tool bar, command box, and ribbon bar, SAP menu, status bar, and standard bar. Everyone, everyone, so you people want to understand, sir, which screen, which screen, for example, example, everyone, uh, before going to understand the screens, before going to understand the screen, first you people want to understand, first you people want to understand, 
how many types of how many types of servers in sap how many types of servers in sap how many types of servers in sap even regarding to servers we are called as a system landscape even this one also in depthly we will discuss in the project class so before going to understand sap some overview today we will can understand some overview some overview okay how many types of servers in sap everyone for example sir why you are always telling uh, it will come later 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 everyone everything if i tell today your mind will going to block you can't understand even one word okay so as a faculty knows when what explain so simply you people simply you can follow my words this five months simply you people follow my words in this five months the end of the day then you will get every picture okay even after one week you can get one picture after one week you will get one picture so today is first class right so something blah 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 like that okay so anyway guys i am i am telling do you understood what is meant by projects how many types of projects how it will be yes no yes yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay good <laughs> anyway now everyone now you try to understand so now we are open the sap server now so now try to understand how many types of how many types of servers in sap how many types of servers in sap everyone majorly majorly we have three types of servers in sap what is that what is that one is development server one is development server or dev server whatever development server or dev server then one is quality server quality server then one more is called production server one more is called production production server everyone again development server divided into three parts so <laughs> that, that will come later okay even quality server into two parts so which part want to work whom that is a different thing actually we are called as a system landscape that will come later if i tell that process now you people may be going to confuse okay even not required now that that uh, explanation not required now okay so everyone sir in the development server what we will do development server what we will do everyone everyone in the development server work on the consultant who will work on the development server in the development server work on the consultant any consultant fi consultant mm consultant sd consultant all the consultants use the development server use the development server for configuration for the configuration and initial testings example they will use this server for the configuration as you know testing and all just keep it on your mind now just keep it on your mind now now so development server we can use for the configuration so in the development server all the configuration we are going to save in the tr all the configuration we are going to save in the tr transport request tr transport request 
once your configuration is completed sir what is meant by configuration i will explain okay after this types of server i will explain what is meant by configuration i will explain everyone so just keep it on your mind in the development server development server the consultant want to do the configuration after completion of configuration all the configuration they will save in the tr once completed the configuration they will move the tr they will move the tr development server to quality server this is the called tr actually this is called tr tr so what is the use of tr tr is help everyone what is the use of tr tr full form is called transport request what what is the transport request main motto transport request main motto is to move the configurational data to move the configurational data one system to another system example development system to development system to quality system quality system to uh, production system for example for example in the development server or development system the consultant will do the configuration all the configuration will going to save in the tr once configuration is done that configuration will move development server to quality server sir who will use this quality server even here in this quality server used by the consultant used by the consultant used by the consultant even sometimes our end users also going to use that is a different thing that is a different point in the uat stage the majorly this quality server used by the consultant what purpose testing purpose testing purpose what they will test they will test the configuration is correct or not whatever configuration they will do in the development server na that thing they will make the testing in quality server they will make the testing in quality server in case during the testing any missing is find out again they will go to development server again missing configuration they will do they will create one more tr then they can move again development server to quality server even quality server divided into two parts which testing happened where everything will come later everyone first try to understand some overview now but because we need to open the sap we need to give some explanation in the sap so in the quality server quality server used for the testing purpose some people called as a this is called testing server once your testing is fine everything is fine everything is fine there is no any issues then they can move the tr again they can move the tr again quality server to production server quality server to production server quality server to production server so who will use this production server who will use this production server example once again this production server used by the end user this production server used by the end user nothing but accountant this production server used by the end user they will use the end user so what they will do in the production server simply everyone what they will do accountant what accountant will do in the erp 
they will post the accounting entries they will post the accounting entries and they will generate the reports they will generate the reports here they will post the real time accounting entries real time accounting entries entries and uh, reports and the reports they will do this activity real time accounting entries and reports so this is the type of server how many types of server one is development server one is quality server and one is production server okay in the development server used by the consultant for the configuration purpose so all the configuration they will save in the tr they will save in the tr so tr means tr means okay tr means transport request tr can use tr can use okay tr can use to move the configurational data one system to another system example development system to quality system even tr can use move the configurational data within server also i will that will come even development server divided into three parts the parts everything will come actually on the project class not required now so tr can now you can understand tr can use to move the configurational data and for development server to quality server quality server to production server in the quality server what they will do they will make is a testing who will the testing example consultant will do the testing once every testing is good everything is fine then later they will move quality server to production server production server they can use the end user for real time accounting entry posting okay accounting entries and uh, reports they will make the reports can you please note it down this everyone note it down this and uh, example to create tr example to create tr sc10 you can write this one also t code this is the t code note it down everyone Uh, Badra Jaina, Badra. Badra, are you there? Sorry, yesterday he joined Delvai. Sorry, Del. Anyway, first note it down later. Uh, Then everyone noted. Yes, sir. Sir. 
done sir da very good very good so uh, everyone now uh, basically one thing everyone so uh, what i want to share you and now currently today what i want to share you means uh, so today onwards we are already started recording the videos okay regarding the sessions my sincere sincere request is don't depend upon the recording videos no it's not uh, suggestible every day everyone want to attend the class and listen the class okay listen the class and uh, okay listen the class and in case of any doubts i can give you time to ask the doubts to clarify the doubts and uh, one more is called i will share practice material first i will share f5 material later and uh, mmsd co project class as per hana lot many materials i want to share you so first i will share you f5 material then you can take the print out okay you can take the print out and make as a viral binding first listen the class okay and uh, with seeing the practice material do the practice on sap system so today not required any practice just observe the screen how look like okay just observe the screen and uh, one more uh, one more word is uh yeah so guys uh, today means this link whatever link you are going to join na this link tomorrow it will going to expire so monday onwards the new link will going to start okay so already we are trying to create the whatsapp group okay so then we will add all the people into the whatsapp group there we can share all the material everything okay but uh, this recording videos uh, we will share in the google drive so gmail id so you will share your gmail id's to us then you can share to lakshmi ma'am your gmail id and she will share the recording classes okay so that is the one now today you people required one recording video and the fi material okay so tomorrow onwards everyone want to practice okay uh, whatever activity you do things anyone any doubts everyone anyone any doubts so, so we do have class tomorrow or from monday onwards tomorrow also tomorrow what special any special tomorrow no sir no tomorrow we have class tomorrow uh, friday or saturday Friday, 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 we have the class. Friday, we have class. So tomorrow, everyone, please join the class. Okay. Tomorrow, we have Mon our classes Monday to Friday. Okay. Tomorrow, please join the class. And yeah, today we will add in everyone into the WhatsApp group. Please confirm in case anybody not uh, included into the WhatsApp group. Please uh, ping me or Lakshmi, madam. We will add into the group. Okay. There we will post all the things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyone any doubts oh, yes sir sachal this side ma madam bolie ma madam uh, sir aspects wanted to know if we can take server access on saturday is it possible to contact lakshmi ma'am on saturday because oh, of, uh, sir, yeah, i have my office time okay ma'am you can contact on saturday you can arrange the server access saturday also no problem uh, yeah okay and today's session is recorded that's what i am telling them i already tell them. maybe you miss my words yeah yeah okay okay thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am so venkat venkat here so the class timings will be 8:30 to 9:30 i mean uh, not uh, exactly 9:30 uh, 8:30 to 1 to 1 and a half hour not 1 and a half hour not 1 hour 1 to 1 and a half hour it's so depend you... upon the topic Okay. depend upon the topic sometimes it will close within one one hour sometimes 10 minutes 15 minutes extra you can keep it as a one to one and a half hour like that sure you start at 8:30 exactly right ah uh, 8:30 everyone please join the class in 8:30 answer is yes okay okay that yeah. even monday onwards one streamline will come okay 
we will make as one streamline okay we will share the new link then we will set up all the process and up so everyone uh, i will share the document now immediately you can take the print out then even immediately we'll make as a one spiral binding let as a make it as a one book like that okay please contact to lakshmi ma'am for more details yeah thanks everyone thanks yeah. sir thanks. hello sir himan sharma this side Ah, sir, yeah, just wanted to know, sir, we'll be doing practice in live class only alongside with you. Huh? Please call, call me later. You okay. doubt, I did not understand your doubt. Come again, come again. I'm saying, sir, we will be like after getting the server access and SAP access. So we will be doing practice in live class directly with, alongside. No, live no, class. no. Don't do like that. Don't do that one. Uh, that's not good. Okay. That okay. is absolutely wrong. No. If I okay. explain something, you do something, how you can get the, uh, how you will understand? No. What, uh, this is a foolish question actually. Listen the class first. If you go to movie, will you write the notes? No. But after the movie, then you can remember everything. Why? Why means you are focusing the movie. Okay. In the, what we called Manasa, Vacha, Karmana, we are focusing the movie. We are seeing okay. hero. We are seeing heroine. After the movie, we can remember everything. Same way in the class also. Of course, I am not a hero, but you can concentrate our class. You can okay. every focus. Listen the class. Listen, 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 listen. Then after okay. completing the class only, you people want to do the practice. Don't do uh, two objectives at a time. No, that is not good way. <laughs> okay, sir. Questions asked. okay, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank Bye you. Sir. Yeah. Any other doubts? Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Bye. First, listen the class, everyone. First, listen the class. Just listen the class. Note it down notes. If I give any note, then after the class, then only you can practice. Don't practice uh, while listening the class. Focus on the class. Listen my words. Concentrate the words. Okay. What yes, is, sir. Yeah. What is the donation of enhancement project? I maybe you miss. Anyone tell me? Tell me the answer. Six to eight months. Six to eight months. Yeah. Six to eight months for rollout projects, no? That same for the same for enhancement. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.